unlike the Cumbries and Toltec Railroad, the Durango and Silverton does not allow you to explore their rail yards. But in 1998, they opened a museum which has interesting displays, including an 800 square foot model railroad depicting its 1950s operations. Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad has been in constant operation since 1882, traveling from Durango's 6,512 foot elevation up to Silverton's 9,305 feet. The railroad has been recognized as a historic engineering landmark by the American Society of Civil Engineers. River is one of the last free-flowing rivers in the western United States, and its flow ranges from 400 cubic feet per second to over 6,000 cubic feet per second at peak snowmelt runoff in June. The train crosses the river five times. Twenty-seven miles of the Animus River can be run by competent kayakers and rafters capable of negotiating its class four and five rapids. Yes.
This is Needleton, where backpackers can be dropped off and picked up by the train, so they can backpack six miles up to Chicago Basin, where there are three of Colorado's 54 14ers, mountains higher than 14,000 feet. I've been up to Chicago Basin four times. of us. 